So this video covers a very specific use case, which is when you had someone prepare the LiDAR files for you. So instead of going through the LiDAR creation process, you decide to forego that and pay someone to create your LiDAR. Um, most likely it's Pac-Man who tends to do a lot of those LiDAR packages, but it could be somebody else as well. Um, but in this case, the package that I'm going to be using, the LiDAR files, were given to me by Pac-Man to use in this example. So thanks, Pac-Man. Um, so to get started here, you should have already installed Unity. Um, you should have installed Unity Hub, Unity 2018.2.8, and you should have installed the base package. If this sounds unfamiliar with to you, you missed a couple videos and you need to go back um, to the Unity installation videos. So this is uh, when you open up Unity, uh, you know, the first time you open it up and it's got this sample scene installed. And in our project um, folder and our project explorer, we have our assets folder. And then underneath here, down under the scenes folder, we've got the sample scene, which we have open. And then we also have our import scene right here. We are going to double click on our import scene. And that's going to load up a bunch of defaults. We got some cameras over here. We got our lighting, our audio source. But this is really kind of the vanilla uh, golf course, but it doesn't have a terrain or anything. So that's what we're going to do right now is bring in our terrains, the ones that Pac-Man prepared for you. The next thing we need to do is we need to import the Unity package that Pac-Man or whoever sent you. Um, so you're going to come up here into Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. And at that point, you'll get this pop-up window, and I know that I downloaded it, and it's in my Downloads folder. Um, here it is. You might want to save that off into your OPCD Projects folder someplace. Um, put it into a folder there just in case you need it later on, so don't lose it. So here it is. The Bel this is Belvedere Golf Club Starter. Um, by and it was sent to me by Pac-Man. So I'm going to open that up and it's going to decompress and it might take a second or two. Um, but this is the Unity um, package importer. So what this is saying is I'm going to create um, and import these assets into the train backup folder. You know, so it's this parent folder. And these are all the different files in there that are going to be imported, which are some, you're essentially your overlays. Um, there's a scene in here. Um, you can see this Unity scene right here. I'm actually going to, uh, that should be okay. I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to leave everything in here as, just see if this works fine. So we're going to import that. And that might take a second or two. So I'm just going to pause the video. So that was imported and it is put into this terrain backup folder that you see here. And there are a bunch of files in here. Um, we have this thing called a sample scene and we have a scene file here. We want to leave these alone, okay, for the most part. Um, but some other things that we have in here, these are our overlay files. So we have our Bing inner overlay, which is a satellite image of our inner plot. We have our Google overlay, which is a Google image of our inner plot. Uh, we have our hill shade, which can come in very handy for also doing some tracing in Inkscape um, and um, also looking some things inside of Unity that can come in handy. More information on that later on. There's our LiDAR files, which you won't be using directly, um, uh, but those are something that Pac-Man created, but they're included in here. There's this min max feet, uh, feet, <laughs> min max feet folder, this Excel. This comes in very useful. We're going to reference that in a, here in a minute, um, but it can't, contains a lot of information about your uh, overlays and about your terrain. It's very important. Then we have our outer plot, which is the area outside of your golf course. So we have our outer Bing image, and we have our outer Google image. Um, we have our foliage data, um, which uh, sometimes you may or may not have that. So if you don't worry about that one, don't worry about it. He included it because it can, you can use it. It's a little advanced, but we're going to leave that one out of there for now. Plot data is going to be your outer terrain, and terrain data is going to be the data for your inner terrain. And then it looks like he included a README in here. Let me just, I can show you, show an explorer. And then if I do that, you can see that that whole directory is brought up. So here's the README and Explorer. And I can open up and 
he's got some information on here. Okay, pretty much a lot of the stuff I've been talking to you and we'll explain here in a second. So there's some information in there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our inner terrain. And that's pri the primary area where your, your golf course is gonna be. So down here, we got this terrain data and we're simply going to drag it over here inside of our scene and drop it. And you can see when that happens, when I'm, I'm actually right mouse clicking and then I can look around and ah, looks like the beginning of a golf course. Now this one's pretty flat and you can see some dips out here, but for the most part, this is a pretty flat golf course. If I hit uh, while holding around right mouse button, if I hold down the W key, I can zoom in. And if I get a little bit lower, you can start to see that, yes, there is a little bit of terrain and I see some slight hills in here. OK, so that is my terrain right here. And I'm going to click on this once, click on it again, and I'm going to rename this to terrain and I'm going to say inner so that way i am clear that this is my inner terrain this okay should be the only thing in your hierarchy okay that that has the word uh, terrain in it okay do not name anything else terrain all right so let's go to our outer terrain so the next thing i'm going to do is drag in my outer so so you guys can see this i'm going to go back up in the air you guys can see let me look around here so this is my inner plot and now i'm going to i'm going to go zoom up even further here so you guys can really see what's going on so you can see the golf course in my inner plot there i'm going to take my plot data which is my outer terrain and also drag this over here and you can see that it named this terrain and you can see that it put this over here and things don't quite look right we're going to come back to that in a second. So my inner is underneath it. You can see right there, they're not lined up, but that's okay. But we need to rename this. And again, I can click on it to rename it, or I can right click on it and say rename. And I'm just going to call this outer plot. Okay. Make sure that does not have the word terrain in it. The only one that can have the word terrain in it is my inner terrain, this one. Outer must not contain terrain. Now, maybe you don't have an outer terrain and that's fine. If you don't have an outer terrain, you can just skip importing your outer because, well, frankly, you do not have one. So the next thing we need to do is we need to align these properly. So let me just show you, I alluded to this earlier, which is my inner, which is right here, let me turn on and off, is first of all, it's underneath my outer terrain. So we can't see it. That's not going to work really well. And if I come back here to my outer and I turn that on and off, you can see that my outer is on top of my inner, first of all, and my golf course is way over here. And it's going to take a second for me to zoom in. So let me go all the way over to the middle, come up over my outer, back away. So here's my golf course right here on my outer. Let me turn that off again. But here is the golf course on my inner train. They need to line up, but they don't right now. So we need a little bit of additional information. And Pac-Man would have included this, which is this Belvedere Golf Club Min-Max Feet spreadsheet. So I could right click, I can show an Explorer, which will open up here, and I can open up this spreadsheet. And when I open up this spreadsheet, this is what I got. And in here, there are a lot of different numbers. So one is at the top here, I've got this inner meters value, which says 1700. And it says input this value into the inner terrain width and length in Unity's terrain settings. So where are these at? And this is an important number to know. So in my inner terrain, in my terrain settings, which is this cogwheel, down here, my terrain width and length is 1700. OK, so that is correct. Those need to match. And, and Pac-Man did that for you already. Now let's go back to our spreadsheet. The next thing it is my outer terrain, which is 5950. Import this value into the outer terrain width and length in the Unity's terrain settings. So if I go to my outer plot, my terrain settings, so 5950. We've got that all set as well. So what else do we have in here? 
Well, down here at the bottom, we've got this Unity Terrain Outer Transform settings. We've got an X, Y, and Z value. So I see my X value is, I can't highlight this. Um, I'm not sure why I can't do that. I could, something wrong with my Excel, but we'll just do it by hand here. So we see this position. This position needs to be entered into the position for our outer. So our X is negative 2,125. So outer X value up here, negative 2,125. And you can see that this shifted this over for us. Ah, cool, all right. In this particular case, there's a drop off here. That's because it's just the ocean. This is very unique to this outer. So let's look at that again. The Y is minus 186.77 minus, so the Y here is minus 186.77, enter. So that shifted it down a little bit. And then my Z value here was minus 21.25. So see here, minus 21.25. I got that correct now as well. So now my inner, should be centered exactly in the middle of my outer. So if I turn my, go back to my outer again and turn this off, you can see that those line up perfectly. So something else I can do to confirm this is I can go to my outer and go to my terrain settings again, and I can go to this little brush right here. And in this brush, this is the texture that is assigned to my outer. And I can change this. If I highlight that and hit Edit Texture, I'm going to edit that texture, and I get this screen that pops up. Now, if I highlight that, so my Belvedere Golf Club Outer Google is what's assigned to this right now. I'm going to take this light blue and slide it in here. And you can see when I do that, I got a little bit of an issue here. So I've got some Z fighting going on. So my outer is kind of poking up through my inner. So let me just apply this. And now what I do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna zoom back in here. If I hold down Shift W, I'm gonna zoom in and you can see that I got this Z fighting. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna highlight my outer. I'm gonna come up here to Y, which is essentially my up and down. And I can, highlight the Y and you see I get these little arrows up here, the left right arrows, and I can start dragging this. And you can see when I do that, it starts to lower it. So I can lower this maybe another half a meter here. Let me see, three, oops, I raised it. I need to go lower, which is higher on the negative because we're going higher negative. So let me change this to 187. That ah, still poking up through a little bit. 187.2, four, five, let's try eight. Now it's close. I'm just gonna go 188 here, negative 188. Uh, I still have a few things poking up through. We really don't, and it can be, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just gonna change this to 90, one, negative 190. And now when I look around here, I see no more blue poking up through here, which means, oh, I do see a couple specks. We do not want that because that can cause problems. Let me back up here. So let me change this to 195. It's even better, but I still have a spot right here. Change this to 199. There we go. So 199 is pretty good. Oops, I hit my transform button there. So now my outer is completely underneath my inner. I can come back to my outer, my texture here, edit texture, and I can drag my outer Google back in there. And I apply that. And now my inner is completely centered. And just to show you guys what this really looks like, if I hit Control W, you can see I'm gonna zoom in. Now this gets hard to see. Let me look at my perimeter here again. Highlight my inner, turn this on and off. Ah, I'm too far. 
I just want to show you guys what this looks like. Ah, here it is. So here's the edge of my inner. And you can see it is essentially hovering above my outer. This isn't a problem, though. The golfer does not see this because the golfer will be way inside here golfing and they will never see this edge. So this is not a problem. Don't worry about it. This is why when we create your inner, well, Pac-Man, but if you create your own LiDAR, you'd say, I want to create my inner to an area that the golfer will never be at and hit a ball to so you don't have a problem. So this is all set. Now, the last thing we want to do here is rename our import terrain. This is our scene file right here. What I can do is I can right click on this. I'm going to do save scene as. And when I do that, I'm going to get this pop up here. And I'm going to save my scene down under this scenes folder here. And I'm going to call this, um, in this case, this was I, Belvedere. So I'm going to call this Belv, which is the name of the course, Belvedere Golf Club underscore gsp and this is going to be our uni scene file i'm going to hit save and now you can see that we have our belvedere golf club underscore gsp scene file and we are all done with bringing our prepared lidar in